What up, peeps? I'm here with my little friend, Dookie Duke, over here. Duke, I'm getting ready to go outside and do some training. I want to give you guys a quick pro tip, though. If you have a dog, like Golden Doodles, specifically Doodles, I see this a lot with, but any dog with a lot of fur, thick fur, and you're doing e-collar training with them, or you're using an e cow with them in their life, take an extra two to five minutes max and brush out their neck with a good brush before putting that e-collar on. Nice and simple. If you try to put the e-collar on without brushing it out, it's it very likely that you won't even make contact with the e-collar. And the thing is that if you don't make contact with your e-collar, your e-collar is essentially just a flat buckle collar with an extra little thing hanging on it. The whole idea is that those contact points must be touching your dog's skin in order for it to work. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I see people struggling with a dog who already understands the e-collar but having to go really high levels that's probably because you're not getting good contact. So take the extra five minutes. And besides for getting con good contact with your dog, this guy's great. It's also a, gr a great way to bond with your dog by grooming them to get them used to being touched by you, being groomed in that way, using the brush on them, and also to be able to check their body over to make sure that they're healthy. There's nothing strange. There's no ticks. There's no bites, there's no anything weird on their body that shouldn't be there by using that five minutes a day to brush them out, which you should be doing either way because long haired coated dogs need to be brushed, but for sure with the e-collar, brush it out around their neck so you can make good contact. Look at this guy, he's so freaking cute. All right guys, 